Businesses across the country have been turned upside down in this pandemic, especially small restaurants. These eateries have had to get savvy to survive. It's amazing to see how so many have pulled it off. So today we actually continue our very own restaurant week featuring cool spots across the country, getting creative to attract customers. There's a place in Washington, D.C. that's transformed itself into a winter wonderland, which I'm down for. Uh, we have the owner on the line from Half Smoke. Let's welcome Andre McCain. How you doing? Hey, how are you? I'm so good. All right, well, before we chat about that igloo that you're sitting next to, can you tell us a little about Half Smoke? Yeah, Half Smoke is a casual dining restaurant here in Washington, D.C. We've been open since 2016. Our theme is Don't Grow Up, It's a Trap. And we feature just casual American food. And we cater to people who want to come for happy hours, for birthdays, to come hang out for brunch. Uh, we really enjoy having people come. We have board games. We have a photo booth. It's just a really great time. So what happened when the pandemic hit? The pandemic uh, was was a tough time. I remember it just like it was yesterday. It's, it's strange that it was almost a year ago, but we got the news that we had to completely shut down indoor and outdoor dining, which from a small business standpoint, it's something that we've never anticipated having to do. And as fate would have it, the city allowed us to open up essentially outdoors in ways that we hadn't had the opportunity to do before. And coincidentally, there's a massive lot across the street from Half Smoke. And so our thought was, what can we do with this lot to replicate the experience that you would have in Half Smoke that's consistent with our theme, Don't Grow Up, It's a Trap? How do we do something that's completely out of the box, completely safe, completely fun, but also where we could really cool. keep things open, keep things moving, keep things going? And fortunately, we were able to turn it into our version of a winter wonderland. And we researched all around the country, all around the world, the best examples of how people are actually pivoting towards outdoor dining in a very safe and comfortable way. And our thought was, well, why don't we set up these igloos? Why don't we bring the board games outside? Why don't we bring lights and fun and different types of menus and really create a unique experience that actually takes advantage of the situation that we're in and makes the most of it. Yeah, I mean, and it just looks like hella good time. I love that. I want to go to eat dinner in an igloo. That looked like so much fun. Um, I think that's a, a fun thing to do regardless of the pandemic's happening. Um, but you actually sent over a half smoke for me to try. So can you tell me about, Marcel, you can bring it in. Uh, but what what am I trying here? Thank you. Are you going to, yeah, you don't okay. trust me. I don't trust me. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Don't we trust we me. have one here too. The half smoke itself is actually DC's namesake sausage. It's half beef, half pork. The half smoke is essentially what the Philly cheesesteak is to Philadelphia. And we created our own version of it, which we're really excited about. We have our own custom recipe for the half smoked sausage itself. And we top it with uh, beer cheese, bacon, mustard slaw, and crispy onions to really make uh, one of the most fantastic dishes you ever have. So please let me know what you think about it. Okay, I've been done. I'm like, I'm going to be respectful while you talk, but I really want it in my mouth. It's yeah. so good. No, 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 try uh -huh. it out. Try it out. Mm. <laughs> there you go. Oh, my God, it's so good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. This is so Glad good. You like it. The winter wonderland wasn't um, it wasn't only one pivot you made, right? Didn't you have to make a couple other ones? No, before the winter wonderland, which we, we started a few months ago, the first thought was, how do we reach customers where they are when they can't come to even outdoor dining when it was closed? And how do we really make an impact on people above and beyond food? And so we actually created a virtual kitchen brand called Butter Me Up, which is available online and via delivery apps and also for pickup, essentially breakfast sandwiches. And the notion is breakfast made to uplift. Every time you order from Butter Me Up, you get an action card. And the action card says, call a friend and tell them you missed them. Call a loved one, you tell them you love one. Call someone and say, hey, we should get together sometime. Talk to yourself and say, I'm a great person. I'm having a great life. Things are gonna be amazing. And also, by the way, enjoy a wonderful breakfast sandwich and a coffee and a tea while you're doing it. 
Um, Andre, I love how creative that you've you've gotten in. I, I want to throw uh, some support your way. Thank you. We want to get behind you here at the show. So we're just going to give you $5,000 because we love you and we really love your food. <laughs> uh, wow. Thank you. At some point, I got to get one of those igloos to play a board game and have some of this food.